the first step in setting up your DVR Cam 1 is to take your micro SD card and place it into the micro SD to USB converter. The second step is to take your micro SD card to USB converter and place it into one of your USB slots on your computer. The third step in this process is to navigate on your computers where your SD card is located. So I'm going to click on startup menu, click on computer, and here I can see that my SD card has been labeled removable disk D. I'm going to right click on the SD card and scroll down to format. I'm going to click quick format and select start. It's going to say warning formatting will erase all data on this disk. To format the disk, click OK. To quit, click cancel. I'm going to click OK. And it says format complete. I'm going to select OK. Exit out of this format removable disk menu and exit out of the computer menu. After we have the set date and time in a text file on our micro SD card, we're going to remove this from the converter. While the camera is unplugged, we are going to remove the back of the camera so that we can enter the SD card into its slot. You can use a flat blade or a Phillips head. In this case, I'm going to use a flat blade. And you'll see here there's an SD card slot where we're going to put our micro SD into. It goes in upside down. And you'll hear it click when the SD card is in place. Just a special note before you actually put the back cover back on. There is a silicone seal around the outside of this that can be removed. This does need to be in complete contact with the ring that it sits into before you put this back on. It's part of the weatherproofing of this camera. If the seal is not completely covered by that ring, it's not going to be a weatherproof camera anymore. So we're just going to go ahead and put this screw back in. It's also good to make sure that the screw is in there tight as well. If you remove the SD card after formatting it, the date and time will reset itself. So if you're going to remove the SD card, you're going to have to repeat the steps that we just went over if you want to have an accurate time and date stamp on the video. In this step, it is going to be up to you to mount the camera. So just note that when you do mount the camera and you do have these connectors hanging out, these connectors are not weatherproof, so they do need to either be inside a gasketed enclosure or really just inside any dry place. If water gets into this, eventually it's going to rust this power barrel or this video connection and you will A, not get any more power to the camera and it will cease to function or you will stop getting video between your camera and the TV monitor that you might be watching this on. So at this point we're going to jump ahead a little bit and say that we have video recorded onto the SD card and we want to view that video. So there are a couple different ways to do this and we're going to go over those now. So the first way that we're going to playback video is by using the DVR function of this DVR camera. We can access these playback functions using the remote control that is provided in the box for the camera as well. So before we even get to that we have to attach a video connection from the camera DVR to some kind of video source. And right now, it's got a BNC video connection, which might not be familiar to a lot of you. 
So to convert this to an RCA jack, inside the box as well, we provided a BNC to RCA converter. So if you give this a push and a quarter turn, you've now converted that BNC video signal to an RCA connection. In the box as well, there is a three foot RCA extension cable. We're going to use this to connect the camera DVR to our viewing source. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to a TV and I'll record the video so you can see exactly what I'm looking at as well. Okay, so here we have our user interface for the DVR camera. You can see all around the screen there are icons representing a few different things. Um, if we want to play back video, the first thing that we're going to need to do is press the playback button on the remote. Make sure you point the remote towards the camera. And this will bring us to a list of videos. We can scroll up and down, again using the remote, to view these. If we want to play a video, all we need to do is simply press the play button. And we can stop. And scroll up or down to view a different video. After we are finished reviewing our playback video, we can escape this playback feature by pressing the escape button on the remote. This will bring us back to our live view and in this menu we can choose to change the resolution of the camera and what is recording. The default for the camera is going to be VGA resolution which is 640 by 480 pixels. We can change that to QVGA which is 320 by 240 pixels. The reason they give you that option is if you want to save more space on the SD card that you have, you can downgrade the resolution and it will give you more time on the SD card. Under the VGA and QVGA buttons, there is a PAL and an NTSC button. This is to set your video standard. By default, it's going to come with an NTSC video standard. The last buttons on the bottom of the remote say loop on and loop off. The loop feature for this DVR determines what happens with the SD card as soon as it's full. So if we have the loop feature turned on, this means that as soon as the SD card is full, it's going to start re-recording over its oldest saved data. If we have the loop feature turned off, the SD card is going to stop recording video. The second way to view video, this is going to be the way to save the video to your computer, is to actually remove the SD card and put it back into the USB to micro SD converter. So to do this, all we have to do is remove the back of the camera. Remove the SD card by pushing in, and it'll pop out. Place the SD card into the micro SD to USB converter, and place this into the computer. So again, we need to locate the SD card on the computer. I'm going to click on the startup menu, and click on computer to find it. The removable disk D is the SD card. I'm going to double click on that. Double click on DCIM. Double click on 100 DSCIM. And here we have our video. If we want to watch any of this video, all we have to do is simply double click on any one of the video segments.
If we want to save any of this video, all we have to do is simply create a new folder anywhere on the computer. and simply drag and drop any one of these videos. And again, if you do remove the SD card to view video, you're going to have to update the system date and time. If you remember from the beginning of the video, to update the system date and time for your DVR cam in this .txt file, we entered the date and the time. So for example, right now it's 1038 and it's 9, 7, 12. So I'm just going to update the day. Make sure that you save this file. And after you have removed all the video that you want to save on the SD card, you're going to have to format the SD card before you put it back into the camera. So once we go back here, we're going to right click on removable disk D, select format, and select start. Select OK, and drag the set time. .txt file back into the SD card.